Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, <clears throat> wherever you are on the planet. Welcome to another online movement break, bringing you some movement to bring you some oxygenated blood into your body so you can feel good. So today we are going to start and do the whole session standing up. And of course, as always, these sessions are for you. So if you need a chair or the items in your kitchen for some stability, a wall, please do so. This is pretty much a journey. So there is no destination with these alignment breaks. Your body changes over time. You will arrive when it's best for you. So, as always, keep thinking about expanding your body, keep thinking about opening, not contraction. So, I will keep reminding you of that. So, just follow along and um, enjoy. So, I'm going to start um, with a little body shake today. <sighs> so, Whatever that means to you, to so just shake your body, shake your hands, shake your arms, shake your butt, your belly, your legs, your feet. Um, good. I'm going to bring that to a close. Today, I am going to start with my legs a little wide, my toes are pointing on the diagonal. So I'm looking for a pretty comfortable stance, not too wide. I'm going to turn sideways here for a moment to show you. I don't want this. So making sure you can stand like this with your butt not sticking out. In other words, those three magic places that I'm always talking about, your pubic bones and your pelvic bones. So making sure those are on the same plane and not one ahead of the other. You might have to turn your toes in a little bit more, or even turn them out a little bit more. So right from here, I'm going to create a little, a little bouncing motion, and then a little side to side motion. So really going one knee then the other, gentle in your knees. If you cannot think about your knees. I'm really thinking about this at the level of the pelvis. So my pelvis is moving, my belly button is going from side to side, and my knees do this, my ankles soften because they have to. So just breathe a little bit more. Side, 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 side. Good. So it's as if the uh, the inside sides are facing outward. So just a few more of these. And now I'm going to go for a little circle in one direction. So my belly button, if you will, has breaking, and it's breaking in a circle in space. So it's actually not a very big movement, but it looks much bigger because how it resonates to the rest of the body. So moving in one circle, Nothing tightening. And now I'm going to go the other direction. Ooh, one side easier than the other. So my belly button subscribing in space. Let me just, you keep going. So everything stays as one piece. I'm using the belly button as a point of reference. But all of this torso is going for a ride, but I'm not moving it separate from the rest of the body. So keep going, a few more circles. Keep breathing deeply. Good, and I'm gonna bring that to a close. Ah. I'm gonna stand on straight legs for a moment. I'm gonna bend my knees again. My head helps me rise up to straight legs. One more time, I'm going to open my thighs. And one more time, come to straight legs. Good, open 
rubbing up my toes and the floor. And right from this position, I'm going to start gentle side bending. And of course, always adjusting as you need to, but I'm not changing anything in the level of my pelvis. So you know, it looks like I'm a little tips. I'm actually not. Do this. So looking for these three points to be on one level. And I'm just going to go from side to side. Gentle side to side motion. And I'm going to turn and face you. My hand is heavy. My head is heavy and I go from one side to the other. Good. And now I'm going to bring my legs back to face forward. Hip width apart or ASIS bones apart, toes facing forward, and I'm going to continue this side to side action, hand is heavy, head is heavy, and I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. So nothing changes in my torso, um, in my pelvis is what I'm saying. My torso does not take my pelvis. <sighs> Good, side to side. I'm gonna do one more to even myself out. Make sure you've done the same amount on each side and I'll find you in the middle. And back to the middle. Let's try some arm circles, shoulder circles. <sighs> so moving my shoulders up and back and down and forward, <sighs> really allowing the weight of your hands to be heavy at the opposite end of this movement. See if there's anything shrinking and like are you kind of starting to slow, just see if you cannot make that happen. So for me, keep the circle moving, I allow my pelvis to be strong, legs moving in the floor and allowing that movement to happen. Let's go the other direction right away. Up and back and forward. Back and up and forward and down and around. Oh yeah. So the timing one direction to the other might be different. That's okay. Just noticing. Good. Good. Let's bring that to a close. And let's go for a little swim today. So I'm going to take one hand and dip it in the water ahead of me with thumb pointing down. So, and as I do that, I'm allowing for, as I reach to the ceiling, that my whole body, my torso starts to shift. My feet are still grounded in the floor, so it's not at the level of my pelvis. And going for a little swim with thumb in, thumb in to the space in front of me. So a little bit of waddling in the torso, if you will, but not in the legs. <sighs> Keep it feeling free and mobile. <sighs> Maybe you have to let go of something in order to make this feel better. Yeah. Good, a couple more, and we're gonna go backstroke. <laughs> Good, so here we go, backstroke. So pinky, so I rotate my wrist. So my pinky goes up and dives this into the back space. So pinky up and back, up and back, up and back. And again, my torso at the level of my Rib cage goes for a little rise. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep swimming. My feet are grounded into the floor, my legs moving <sighs> tirelessly into the floor. Ooh, a few more swims. Just keep noticing if one side's a little more difficult than the other. Good, let's do. Two more to even yourself out. And let's 
bring that to a pause. And just notice it's not about giving yourself a headache. Breathe deeply. Good. Let's continue. I'm going to do some spine rolls here. So I'm going to turn sideways to show. So I like to have my hands at the ready because they're going to move down my thighs. So I'm going to start with my head moving down the front of me. So I'm going to move down the front of me. And as it says that, there's a moment where I have to bend my knees. I don't have to, but I would like you to. <laughs> there's a moment whoop, that my knees will bend. And as I do that, my tail goes in to meet my head as if I could curl up like, like animals do, like a little roly-poly. And as my head moves towards my belly button, now my head reaches out. And as I do that, my tail moves in the opposite direction. So I've got this little wave-like motion going. So head moves down in front of the body and then out in front of the body. So, and I'm going to allow my hands to slide down my thighs, checking to make sure, as I continue this motion, checking to make sure that my knees don't fall in together, keeping my knees in line with my feet, <sighs> breathing, making sure my feet are strongly placed in the floor, <sighs> breathing, breathing, breathing. Mmm, so enjoying that feeling. A few more times in this direction. Nice and easy. See if you can make it a smooth thread-like motion. That is not jerky. That is one ocean wave. One snake-like motion. I'm going to do one more and find me at the top. Good. Let's pause for just a moment and notice, keeping your feet moving into the floor. So now I'm going to look up at the ceiling, and when I look up at the ceiling, I'm going to slowly start to sink down. So now my tail is going to take me in the opposite direction. So it's almost like sliding down a sled. So. I look up, knees, knees and tail take me in the opposite direction. So now the wave goes a little opposite. Opening up the chest is another way to think about it. And coming back up. So chest up, opening up the front of the body, coming back down, and then rolling back up. Pretty much the reverse of what we just did. Uh, I'm noticing your jaw luxuriating in the wave like movement. Your spine will thank you. Your heart will thank you. Uh, your lungs, your diaphragm, oh, everything going on. Your feet are thanking you because they're being enervated, they're being energized by this motion as well. So really nice creases in your pelvis. Two more luxurious waves. Mm. Last one. And find me at the top. Good. Just breathing. So now my feet are calling me. So taking my ribs and my pelvis over that one foot, letting one go. Whoop. Yep. And I'm just right now, I'm just kind of pawing the ground. I'm just kind of making sure that I am aware of balance. Good, I'm gonna place that free leg on the floor and now go the other direction. So, oh, all of this side of my body goes over my foot. Oh, balance the moment. Letting the foot have a moment. 
And here we go again. So ribs over pelvis, freeing up that free leg. And if you want to give yourself a test, if you want to hold on to something you can, I'm going to extend my arms out into space and see what that feels like. Just dangling this foot, playing with it. Really feeling the expansiveness of that balance. And now let's change all of the weight onto that foot, ribs over pelvis. <sighs> Releasing that free leg, extending your arms in any direction you would like, testing your balance or holding on to something, whatever goes for you. And this leg is having, and my free leg is really has no purpose. It's just dangling. I'm really wanting to focus on that standing leg and how much breath and width you can have if your arms are moving. Bring energy to your fingertips. Great. Two feet again. Pause a moment. <clears throat> Good. So now I'm going to peel one foot off the floor and then the other foot. So really picking and peeling off the floor. So peeling my foot off the floor, peeling my foot off the floor. I'm not really looking for a pointed foot, but I really want that sense of peeling the foot off the floor. And as I do so, notice the shift in your body. One foot, one one whole body moves to one foot and then the other of that. So really moving ribs over pelvis on one side then the other. Good. Enjoying this walk-like motion without walking anywhere, without, I was looking for a fancy word and it didn't come. So this as if walking in place. Good. So we're going to bring that to a close. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go to a half point. So if I'm sideways, just spreading my toes out, notice that I'm not leaning forward. So no leaning forward here. Don't jam those little bones with the toes. So just to the demi point, my heel is up. And as I face you again, wanting you to notice your ankle. Like, is your ankle going outside or inside? And if it is, maybe you don't go so high so that you start to train that ankle to, to be in its proper alignment. So going where you can go, where your ankle doesn't go to the inside or the outside. And I just had to check my hip. My hip wanted to come with me. So checking your hips to make sure that they can go with your ankle. Good, just drop that heel. Two feet first, push all the weight over to one side, bringing up that other heel, spreading those toes, checking that pelvis, maybe start it to come up with the heel, uh, and breathing, making sure your weight didn't come forward, so keeping your weight exactly where it was. Little breath here. And now letting the heel drop. We're going to do that one more time each side. So again, testing your ankle, testing those articulations, making sure your ankle is inverting or inverting, falling from the inside or the outside. And if it is, pull back a little bit. It might not feel like you're doing very much, but that's okay. You're training your ankle to not fall inside or outside. That already is progress. Great. <sighs> I'm going to let that ankle drop, move all the way to the other side, and let's free up that other heel. So picking up that heel, making sure your weight didn't go forward, making sure your hips didn't go flying up. Ah, checking that ankle. Is it moving in or out? If not, back up a little bit. Really important to get that ankle in line to create some stability create the neurons in your brain to say, that's where the stability is. Your body wants to work for you in the most efficient way, so tell it you're listening. Let's drop that heel. Good. Let's shake your feet out. Shake those feet out. Shake those ankles out. Good. Okay. So, 
I'm going to do teeny little spirals. And I have my hand on, actually, let's do hands at the, at the, at the ribs. So trying to reach your ribs, even if it's the lower ribs, not your, not your belly, but your ribs. So find bones here. If you need to hold like this, or like this. And at the level of your ribs, you're going to start a little spiral. So thinking about your spine, as we've done before, I don't want you to take your pelvis or your knees with you. So it'll be a very small movement here. Looking over my shoulder, taking my eyes, but not my pelvis. So you might have to really start slowly here. I'm going to go with profile. So my hands are here, and I take my ribs as my spine goes. And I look over my shoulder, and I look with my eyes just a little bit farther. And now slowly coming back, I'm going to start again at the level of my ribs. I bring my ribs, and my head comes back, and my eyes come back. So I'm going to do this way. So it's much smaller than when we do it seated or lying down. So notice my pelvis, whoop, my pelvis doesn't go towards the camera. And then I come back. That's quarantine belly, my dears. So, spine moving, pelvis not moving. And coming back. A few more times. Let's do one more each side. Ribs, not pelvis. Head and eyes. And coming back. So it's really not a large movement, but it's very specific. Oh, yeah. Good. Let's let that go. I'm going to go for a little full body circle here. Uh, what do I mean by that? At my level of my ribs, I'm going to go side, forward, side, and then look up to the ceiling. So I'm going to, I have my hands on my ribs so you can see that motion. It's not in my pelvis. Oh. Uh, two more circles this direction. Thinking about the opening of spaces. And now let's go the other direction. So the level of my ribs and my head goes to the right. Yeah. Oh. Keep breathing. Nothing happens in the legs. The legs keep moving into the floor. Last one. Find me in the middle. Ooh. Good. Let's drop those hands. Good. We haven't done a hand exercise in a while, so let's just add this today. So I'm going to interlace my fingers. I'm going to flip them over and really stretch my knuckles towards the camera. I'm going to move forward a little bit, and I'm really aiming for my thumbs to separate and move towards the floor. So the knuckles moving forward, thumbs towards the floor. Notice that my elbows are not locked. It creates a very different feeling here. Shoulders are down. So elbows are soft because I want the emphasis to be in the knuckles. Ooh, thumbs down. Breathing, breathing. Legs in the floor. Notice where it creates stress and see if you can let it go. When I say stress, like I mean like sometimes we do something that's like anxiety, like, oh my gosh, that's so painful. I'm having an anxiety attack. So just breathe. <laughs> Maybe it's in your heart, maybe it's in your chest, maybe it's your belly, maybe it's your butt. Good, I'm gonna let that go by slowly unwinding. Good, let's give that all a shake out. Good, let's wind, uh, intertwine the opposite fingers. So it'll be my different thumb on top. Flipping over the knuckles, the hands, the palms face out. 
spreading those knuckles towards the camera or away from your body. Some moving away from each other down towards the floor. Breathe. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Ah, breathing, breathing, breathing. You don't have to lock your elbows, remember. It's just in the knuckles. I want those knuckles moving towards the camera, towards me and away from you. Thumbs down, a few more moments. Good. Let's unwind. So bringing it back in, bending gently. Good. And let's give your hands a little rub. You might rub your forearms as well, the top and the back of your forearms. Thanking them for that nice stretch. They're probably thanking you for that nice stretch. Good. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Good. So coming to an end today of our lovely movement break, aligning the body, giving some energy to our body is so deserved. So here we go. I'm reaching my fingers, really reach. Just stretch them out. They should feel really big and wide. You should feel like you have really big hands. So I'm reaching them up and around, and I'm going to cross my arms in front of me and come down my body. So I'm going to do this a few times and see if you can alternate the arm that crosses in front. So breathing in. Exhaling, crossing the body, and coming down. A few more times, really sending the energy into your feet, into the floor, creating this beautiful circle, using your breath, crossing your arms. They really invite you to do this pretty slowly. I mean, of course, you have choice. You can always use whatever speed you want. But really feeling the carving of this space. And I really love the feeling that my feet are moving into the floor, my head is moving up into the sky, and my arms are tracing a sphere around me. One last big circle around you. Bringing in all that you want in your life for the day, for this moment, and letting the arms hang by your side. <sighs> Good. Good. So thank you everyone for joining me. We will see you.